Hi, this is Nick George with Cod's Diamond Sharpening. Just to show you a uh, Turbo A5 Clipper Repair. It's a uh, one speed. Um, sorry I'm sick if I sound a little funny. But, um, so I haven't diagnosed this yet, so let's just see what it does. So that sounds good. I noticed there's a little hair in the van. Um, so I'm going to need to take it apart and get all that hair out. And then we turn it off. Our next step is check the Lincoln lever. Um, well, it's a little bald on that side. It's not bad. You could still use it, but I'm going to replace it because it's $5. And it'll for sure keep you running. So let's check the hinge. Right now. Lift it. Lift it. Mm. That's good. Uh, see those screws? I take those out and put better ones in. I don't like those. They just strip out and they don't get your hinge tight enough. Alright, let me uh, get the Lincoln lever and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back with these two pieces. They're uh, moving pieces so they wear out. Um, <clears throat> so next, I'm going to check the brushes. The brushes are good. Uh, might as well go ahead and take the other brush out because i got to take this apart. Take the end cap off. There's air in there, I'll blow that out. But uh, most likely it's good, but I'm gonna check it when I'm done anyway, just to make sure. So this is the Lincoln lever. Hear that clicking? That's a play in the Lincoln lever. You don't want that to happen. Make sure you have your washer on there because it will wear half of your gear out instead of running along all this surface. Um, it will only run on half and then it's half as weak. Take the hinge off. So I'm going to replace those screws. See? That's a poor Phillips. I mean, I don't even know why they would sell that. Anyway, let's put this on so we don't break the ca case. This is an indestructible case, which what it means is it doesn't break. So you could drop this and it might, it could still break the case, but it won't actually like break. It'll sort of bend. It sort of stretches and bends. Now they do get warped. See all that hair? That's, that's not. I put this snap ring to hold it from snapping because my snap ring pliers are poor. <laughs> Almost popped me in the head. Alright, you just uh, hit the a piece of it gently. Motors just sit in there, they, they're really not bolted. It's like a shock. So, this is DC, I mean AC. Um, and you can tell because there's electricity that runs through this field, so this field gets hot, the fan pools it and the armature gets hot, but if it was DC, it would 
just be a magnet instead of having the coils. Alright, so I'm gonna clean the armature. So now it's all clean, see how nice that is. Blow the hair. Get some oil and drop it down in there. And hit that bearing down in there. Put a little bead on the armature, that's good also. Clean the clean this off if it's dirty because they'll just move they'll just run it because the dirt will get down in it. Okay, and then I take this case and I blow it out. So now you look down inside the case. See that little bushing? Let's go ahead and hit that bad boy. So we hit it with that. Then you're going to make sure this plate in here isn't too indented. It, it has a plate that wears out because the armature spins on it. But w instead of buying a new case every time, you just replace that little little plate. Um, I can see hers is good, so I'm not going to pull it out. Okay, and then put a little uh, oil here. Remember, oil is your best friend. Okay, and then you pop it back in. Then you put this back on. And I'm going to go find that snap ring that almost popped me in the head. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Here's what almost hit me. So, put that in the holes. And then, what I do is I always put this center part over here or over here. Because it will get in the way over there. So see how it's on one side or the other? Okay, pop it in. Take your uh, thing off. Bend these up a little, don't do it too much because you'll break it. You'll break the little contacts. Lower hand off. Alright, so with the motor back in here, I take my grease, not oil, and never put it in there. I've seen people do it, and they wrote their clipper, because it has to breathe. But anyway, put, put a little love around that shaft, and a little love over here. Right around the link. Never squirt oil down there, that's a grease catcher. If you squirt grease down, I meant grease. If you squirt grease down in there, then it's just circulating bad grease. Because what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to spit all the bad grease off, and it eventually comes over here, and then I put new grease on it. So don't fill it up with grease. It's just circulating bad grease. All right. Now you take your lever. Take your uh, plate here and screw it in. It's not very, it's been a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that so there's no problem latching. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Put the two little springs here in these holes. See these screws are a lot better. Flat heads. You can get them tighter and you won't strip them. And I can tell this lady gets her clipper service regularly. Because everything's in good shape, the armature. It would add a little hair in it, but that just happens. Um, but you want to get these serviced because, I mean, if it runs hot for a long time, you'll warp this armature. And what that means is it'll wobble. 
And when it's going fast, it, you can feel it like bogging down. So if your clipper does that, you probably uh, need to clean the hair out or you're going to buy a new armature. Put the brush it back in. Alright, now it's time to put the cord back on. Alright, now I'm going to plug it back in and hopefully it works. Okay, you hear it binding? Hear it? That's normal when you service them. Because they're a floating field. So you got to hit it into place. So what I do... Now the a lot better. See how uh, much it runs when you turn it off? It still spins for a minute. Then you want to adjust these in here. Make it go as fast as it can. Because these pull the field. These screws. Look how quiet it is. Nice. The latches don't make no clicking sound. That's that's it. Thank you for this uh, basic service on a Turbo A51 Speed. Check the cord. So I got lucky. All right. See y'all later.